Hey guys, this is Stephen Howard and my dog Yucca. What are you doing, Yucca? Sniffing around. Uh, we're in my friend's car and uh, just went to Florence Coffee, uh, Montana favorite. Uh, yummy coffee. Hit the dispensary this morning and um, just kind of looking at life through a different lens. Um, it's not as though I had rose colored glasses on before, but the reality of the situation, people can come into your life under um, like a, they don't realize that the connection is real. They don't realize that your spirit and their spirit are obviously kindred spirits or soulmates or twin flames or past life person. And it's really odd to me that one person will find it very quickly and just be like, I'm fucking in love. I'm head over heels in love. And the other person won't realize it until much later, maybe a lot of pain later. And so I'm sitting here, you know, everybody's single, I'm single. Most of the people I wanna be around are married. I want to be married. I want to have my kid, Marley, and their family blended. Um, or I want some sort of resolve with the past relationships that have no closure. So to me, it's like my soulmate's still out there, but they might be married or they might be... Uh, busy and you know kids and all this stuff and they they just don't see it that the connection is real and that um, it's divinely guided that you know if if you're put together with with someone and that person regardless of it if you're with them or not you constantly think about them and wish them no harm actually wish them that they're super happy where they're at or who they're with and that you don't have regret about anything and that like I've always said you you're open to return because if you really love somebody unconditionally no matter what happens no matter how long your relation ship is or isn't it still is open door it's love it's somebody who loves you you love them so um i think today what i'm talking about is is love and that if you really love somebody the old adage is you'll set them free uh if they don't come back it wasn't meant to be and, you know, we can all get sad and somber about it, but we were born here alone, on our own, naked and afraid. And when we come back, what happens right now is the most important thing, where you're at right now. So take care of yourself, love yourself, go buy an expensive coffee that you can't afford, and, you know, treat yourself right. Just treat yourself right. Um, if you have an ocean of love behind you, and you don't realize it, and it's connected to a cup that's in your heart, and that cup is overflowing, then you have love to give. Remember that.
My dog Yucca's finally chilling out. Say hi, Yucca. You're a star. So I guess the last thing I'm going to say I love Will Smith's part in the pursuit of happiness where he's talking to his son. They're staying in the bathroom of a BART station. He's trying to sell some medical crap that's out of date. And he finally gets his chance, you know, to be in the stock market or be an investment banker. And he says to his son, whatever your dream is, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it, that you're not worthy of it. You know, whatever you really want, you can have it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't have it. And then he says, not even me. So, I always think about that. It's time. Have a good day, guys. Mahalo.